Hello and welcome to the shop. I wanted to take just a couple of minutes and talk about the issues that I had with my lathe over the weekend and give you an update on where things are. First off, I need to start by saying thank you. I had an incredible outpouring of people trying to help. Uh, I, I learned an incredible amount of information about how to test the drive, how to test the potentiometer, and even though I realized in the last video after it was too late and I'd already posted it that I had my meter set to AC and I was testing DC output uh, with the camera off later on, I went back and I plugged into the two outside posts, flipped the meter over to DC and checked it and there was no output from the control box, which told me that I was not getting any juice whatsoever to the DC motor. Um, yesterday, which was Monday, I got on the phone and tried to call Penn State and I probably called every anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes all day long and that phone was busy. I finally got through about 4.20 yesterday afternoon and left the phone, I just set it on the bench over here and left it sit there saying, oh, you know, we'll answer your call, next available operator. And it went on for a little over an hour and a half and all of a sudden I realized, hey, my phone stopped talking to me and I got to looking in the battery and died. So they, I found out they closed at four uh, Eastern, which I'm on Central, so that's three my time, so I had missed them anyway. This morning, it was kind of humorous, I picked up the phone, first thing this morning, called, and the phone rang, and I was expecting to get a busy signal, so I immediately hit the hang up button, and when I realized, wait a minute, that, that actually rang, so I called back right away, I thought, God, I'll never get through. I called back right away, got through, uh, it took a few minutes, maybe three, four minutes, they had me through to tech support. And what was beautiful about talking to tech support is the first thing out of the guy's mouth, I said, I need to order a new control box for my, my Turncrafter 10-inch uh, Commander lathe. And he said, well, before you go and order the control box, maybe I can save you some money. He goes, have you checked the brushes yet? <laughs> well, you guys had already clued me into that. I was like, yeah, I had the brushes out. They're five and, five and an eighth inch long on each brush. You know, I said, he said, well, wh what about the wires? Were they tarnished or shiny? I said, the wires were shiny. You know, the copper was shiny. He said, well, what about the bottom? I said, it was nice and concave. There were no, no grooves in it. They were completely smooth. He goes, oh, well, he goes, you just answered my next question. You know, so then he said, well, what, well we should check the potentiometer. Possibly that's bad. I said, I unplugged the potentiometer. I hooked a meter up to it. I ran some resistance. It was nice and steady as I increased the potentiometer to full. I said, I said so I've done that. And he's like, oh, okay, well, what about this? Everything he asked me, you guys had already clued me into and literally I had already tested it. So for sure we had something bad with this lathe, uh, either a capacitor or a MOSFET probably. And that's kind of what he thought too and that's kind of what you guys led me to believe. So you guys, I want you to know, were dead on with what the problem was. So that was a whole mouthful there. As soon as we got done, good news is the box, the control box is still an in stock item and they, have, they keep them on the shelf and they still sell the exact box. So for those of you who have a Turncraft Commander lathe or a similar lathe that uses that control box, you can still get them. They are $60 plus $8.95 shipping. So I immediately got the part number, jumped back over to uh, customer service, ordered one and that was first thing this morning and I already had got a ship notice within, a, within an hour of ordering it. So it is boxed up and probably going out on a mail truck today. This is Tuesday. It goes out USPS, so three to four days. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'll get it this Friday so that I can install it, install it in the lathe and use my lathe over the weekend. Now, in the event that it doesn't arrive and I have to wait till Monday to get it, uh, I'm not going to be too upset. Uh, I don't have a ton of turning to do this weekend. I have some stuff that I'd like to try, but I also have a lot of other stuff I can do in the shop. But Jim Zimmerman, he's a good friend of mine. He's down from Minnesota. He brought his lathe and some other tools down with him, wasn't using his lathe. He's working on some cutting boards and some different items. So he basically brought his lathe into my shop and I used it last night to turn the one and only pin that I had promised. It was a Christmas present for a buddy's mom. I got that turned, I delivered it today, I am set. So if I don't turn another thing, I'm in great shape until I get the box. I want you guys to keep your fingers crossed though that this box does come on Friday because I really would love to install it. Uh, just in case, you know, I wanna find out if there are any other issues. Hopefully the motor's fine, which I, I kinda of think that it is because the motor was running, it just was surging. So I think that was the box causing it. But I felt like I owed you guys an update because of all the hard work you did with me. And, and I'm gonna be honest with you up front. Friday when I made the first video, 
I kind of felt like it was probably something that was um, not going to be fixable by the end user, me. However, I knew that I couldn't do anything until Monday, <clears throat> and I wanted to use the opportunity to learn as much as I could. And I also know that there are many of you out there who are incredibly well-versed at electronics and, and understand this stuff like, like the back of your hand. And I cannot thank you for stepping up and giving me advice and giving me things to test and keeping me going. I had a great time working on this box with you and I feel like I learned a great deal. So with that, I really do appreciate all of your help, all of your input, all of your comments. It, it, you, you do not know how much I appreciate it. Thank you so much. This was a great weekend, a great opportunity. It ended well, everything's gonna be great and I'll have that lathe up and running very soon and I'll be back to turning and I got lots of fun and exciting projects for you guys. So stay tuned, thank you for joining me. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening everybody.